Hey guys! Today we're going to see how to fix a Mercedes Central locking vacuum pump by replacing the broken rotor with a brand new one. Let's go! This is a Central locking vacuum pump. It comes from a 2005 Mercedes SL and you can find this pump in any SL from 2001 to 2006 and from 2007 to 2011. You also find the same pump in S-Class from 1998 to 2005 and CL-Class from 1999 to 2006. Most of the time, when the 20 amp fuse of this pump in the car keeps blowing, the rotor inside the pump is broken. And we're going to fix that. All you need is a large screwdriver. On one side of the box, there are two powers. Use the screwdriver to pry to open the box. You can then finish opening the box manually. This is the PC board. And here is the motor and the turbine. The rotor inside the turbine must be broken because the 20 amp fuse of the pump keeps blowing. Start by disconnecting the two houses. And that's it. Now we are going to remove the motor. We've got to desolder these two wires. Do not leave the motor in place. Unsoldering the wires may damage the PC board below. So first, take the motor out of the box. You can notice that the positive 12 volt wire is red and is located at the bottom. And at the top, there is a ground wire that is black. You must remember that. Then you can desolder these two wires. And that's it. Now we are going to open the turbine and to remove the broken rotor. Before doing so, take a permanent pen and draw a line on the turbine like this. Then Draw an arrow on each turbine element. This is just to remind you of the positioning and alignment of each turbine element. It will be useful when reassembling. Now you can unscrew and remove the six screws that hold the turbine. You can then remove the upper part of the turbine. As you can see, the rotor is broken. Most of the time it happens in the winter when the temperature drops below zero degrees. Now you can remove the broken rotor. Here is a brand new rotor with 8 vanes. We are going to put the new rotor in place. Look, there is a small notch in the rotor that goes there. So you put the rotor in place like this. Then look at this vein. There is a straight side 
and a side with a slightly rounded edge. To put the veins the right way round like this, you must put the blades with a rounded edge pointing outwards. So here is the straight side, and this is the side with a rounded edge. OK, you see? And you do the same for the eight veins. Then we are going to reassemble the turbine. These two elements have to be aligned. And they go there. Then you just have to turn the third element to find the line you drew before. And at the end, these three elements have to be perfectly aligned. It could be a little bit tricky to line up three elements at the same time. So what I suggest is to start by aligning the first two elements. To do so, you prepare a piece of tape like this one. Then we are going to align the first two elements. To do so, you must line up all the grooves in the outer casing. This is the first groove, the second groove, and the third groove. So you must perfectly line up all the grooves. This is very, very important for a proper functioning of the pump. When all the grooves are perfectly aligned, tape the elements like this. Then close the turbine and roughly align the elements so that the screws can be inserted. Then insert the screws then screw in the screws without tightening like this now you must perfectly line up all the grooves of the three elements. First groove, second groove and third groove. When all the grooves are aligned, tighten the screws very gently. When you tighten a screw, then next, tighten the opposite screw in order to ensure uniform tightening of the turbine. Next, this one. And the opposite one. Now, you can remove the tape. All we need to do now is to do a perfect tightening of the turbine using the six screws in order to get high pressure just there. This is very, very important for a proper functioning of the pump. To do so, let's prepare a black wire that will go there, a red wire that will go at the bottom, another red wire, and a 20 amp fuse. You see? 20. Attach the red wire to the fuse like this. And put the fuse in series between the two red wires like this. Then plug the red wire at the bottom.
and the black wire at the top. And then remove the holes from the box and plug it there on the left. We've got to do this preparation in order to test the motor with a turbine on a 12 volt battery to do perfect tightening. Next, open the engine hood of any car in order to use the battery. Take an air pump with a pressure gauge and a nozzle used to inflate air beds, pool toys and so on. Put the pump motor next to the battery and prepare a Torx screwdriver. Then screw the nozzle to the end of the pump hose. And plug the nozzle into the turbine hose. Push it all the way in. Force hard to avoid any loss of pressure. Make contact between the black wire and the battery ground pole and between the red wire and the positive pole. First test. Look at the gauge. We've got 1.8 bar. This is not enough. So we are going to tighten the screws by 1 16th of a turn. I do a mark with a pen so that you can see that on the screen. So tighten the screw by 1 16th of a turn. Like this, not more. As usual, after tightening a screw, tighten the opposite one. And you do the same for the other screws. 1.8 bar is not enough. We must get 3 bar. The more pressure you get, the better. However, be careful not to tighten too much the turbine because you could break it. It's fragile. That's why we tighten the turbine little by little until we get the pressure that we need. New test. We've got 2.4 bar. That is better. We are going to try to get even more pressure, so we're going to tighten the screws by another 1 16th of a turn, like this. And then we'll do another test to see the pressure we've got. New test. We've got 2.7 bar. That's better. We are going to try to get more pressure. So we tighten the screws a little bit more. New test. We've got 3 bar. That's perfect. We stop there. If you don't manage to get 3 bar, it means that the turbine elements are not perfectly aligned. And so it is necessary to realign the grooves and the elements auto casing. Now we are going to put the motor back in place. Disconnect the two wires and the hose. Reconnect the hose in the box. Push it in firmly. Now you just have to solder the two wires. Remember, the black one at the top. And the red one at the bottom. Then put the motor back in place.
Next, reconnect the two hoses. Next, we are going to close the box. Be careful not to pinch the two wires with these forcings by closing the box. It's better to put the wires on the side like this. And then, you can safely close the box. And that's it. Thanks guys for watching and please subscribe and like this video. Goodbye!